Welcome to Remote Patient Monitoring with the Vital Patch. This video will describe how to use the Vital Patch and Vista tablet to monitor a patient's vital signs. The instructions in this video are for clinical users only and are not intended for patients. For cardiac monitoring patient instructions, please visit vitalconnect.com. Before starting, inform the patient that they have been prescribed vital sign monitoring using the vital patch, which is a small wireless device adhered to the upper left chest. Inform the patient that monitoring includes heart rate, breathing rate, temperature, and ECG, and that the monitoring period is usually seven days or less. Before using the Vista tablet device, check that the device is operational. Press the home button to wake up the device, swipe your finger across the screen and then enter the PIN code to unlock. Check to see if there is a patient assigned to this Vista tablet. The patient's name will be displayed in the lower left corner of the screen. If the displayed name does not match the new patient, discharge the previous patient by tapping the menu button and then tapping discharge patient. If the displayed name is correct or there is no name displayed, no further action is necessary until after applying the vital patch. Check that you have a new vital patch in its original sealed pouch. You should have alcohol wipes to clean the skin. If the patient has hair on the upper left chest, you should also have supplies to shave the chest. Open the vital patch by tearing the pouch at the notch. Remove the vital patch from the pouch. The vital patch must be exposed to air for at least two minutes before powering on. During this period, you can prep the patient's chest. Do not remove the adhesive backings on the vital patch until later. Identify the application site. The vital patch is typically applied on the upper left side of the patient's chest. This is known as the primary application site. Refer to the vital patch documentation for other options. If there is hair on the application site, inform the patient that you will be shaving their chest. To shave, apply warm water and shaving cream. Shave the application site in the direction of hair growth. Rinse the shaved area with warm water and then dry. For all patients, clean the application site using an alcohol wipe. Allow the alcohol to dry. Place the vital patch on a flat surface. Press the power button. A green light will confirm that the vital patch is on. The light will go off. Locate the notch at the base of the collarbone and hold two fingers below to determine proper spacing. Hold the vital patch against the upper left chest, with the logo side lined up with the center of the chest. Angle the vital patch down across the heart at an angle, with the three lines pointing down. While holding one side of the vital patch down, lift the opposite side and peel the adhesive backing off. Press the vital patch against the skin. Peel the backing off the other side of the vital patch. Press down both sides to attach to the skin. If the patient has been approved for showering, inform them that they may shower with the vital patch on their chest, but they should avoid scrubbing the area or spraying the vital patch directly. Inform the patient that if they experience any irritation on the skin around the patch, or if the patch begins to lift off, they should inform the clinical staff. Begin the pairing process with the Vista tablet. Unlock the Vista tablet. Close the guided help that appears on the screen by tapping Exit this guide. The Vista tablet will now scan for patches. If scanning does not start, tap the Connect Vital Patch button. The Bluetooth ID of the new Vital Patch should appear on the list. Check that the ID on the screen matches the ID printed on the Vital Patch pouch or on the adhesive backing from the Vital Patch. If the ID matches, tap the ID to pair to this Vital Patch. The screen will ask if the patient has an implanted pacemaker. Select and confirm the pacemaker status for this patient. The next screens will walk you through calibrating the vital patch. Select the position of the patch and then tap Next. Select the current body position of the patient and then tap Calibrate. Confirm the calibration selections and tap Yes to continue. If the Vista tablet asks you to calibrate body temperature, measure the patient's temperature and then enter the value. During or after the calibration procedure, you may be asked to change the patient name. Tap Yes to change the patient name and enter the PIN number when prompted. Enter the patient's name using your facility's guidelines. The patient name may include additional identifiers such as date of birth, room number, or medical record number. Confirm and submit the name change. The patient name can be updated at any time by selecting Edit Patient Name from the menu. 
After pairing and calibration are complete, you will be shown the patient's vital signs on the dashboard. The dashboard shows how many hours are remaining on the current vital patch. If using the body temperature feature, you will need to recalibrate the body temperature at least once per day during the monitoring period. Follow your facility's guidelines for frequency and time of temperature calibration. To remove the vital patch when monitoring is complete, use an adhesive removal pad. Pull up a corner of the vital patch while wiping the pad underneath. This will help release it from the skin. Cut the vital patch in half and dispose according to your facility's guidelines. If the patient will no longer be monitored, discharge the patient from the Vista tablet by tapping the menu button and then tapping Discharge Patient. If you have additional questions, please contact your clinical supervisor or call Vital Connect Support at 1-800-219-3000. Thank you for watching this video.